Hi again. Another of locks Paul Locksmith let me have. Um believe it's an ERA. Um to be honest, I was too bloody bone idle to uh check up and find out, but never mind the way. Um interesting pick this one. Uh gotta put a lot more tension on the uh turning than normal. Uh it just doesn't seem to want to bind too well. But um done it a couple of times now and uh, but it is a quite forgiving lock because I've uh, managed to pick out of the false sets several times to actually get it to go uh, unfortunately not being uh, the expert like safe locks never puts it into the false set in the first place but um, yeah at least if you can get out of it it gives you a chance <laughs> There's a little bit of movement. Number one's gone stiff. Two, three, four's moving, five's moving. So put the wire on each one and give it a little bit more pressure and find out which one seems to want to throw you back the other way. Number two's just gone up a little bit, hopefully in gate, which has uh, given me a little bit more movement. But yeah, go through each of the levers and press a little bit harder and you will find the actual tensioner wanting to turn back the opposite way, which gives you an idea that usually that's the one that's not in place. And number one is trying desperately to turn it back. So it's a case of letting it go, but hopefully not letting all the other levers go at the same time. Then decreasing the tension a little bit. Try and allow everything to move up into the gate. Another nice little bit of movement. All right, not convinced four is in place. Or two, come to that. Number five feels good. Number three feels spongy. Got movement on one, but I'm not sure. Back to number two, which is fairly solid. Let's uh, give that a bit more of a turn. No, it doesn't seem to want to go. Try number four. A lot of the time when it's, uh, when it's like this and you can't really feel a lot, it could just be that the one lever just needs a about a millimeter, just a little tickle. And sometimes it isn't, but uh, sometimes that's all you need, literally. And when you actually touch it and it goes, it feels pathetic the amount you've moved it, but it's enough to stop it.
release number five and it's made all of the levers loose now. So it might be a case of picking up a little bit, bit at a time, might be a case of restarting. Yep, over set five. Yeah. Slightly too much tension on. I had one lever, lever three, a little bit too high. I had to let the tension off enough for it to drop back down into the gate. Just fractionally overpicked it. Still, interesting pick though. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, mate.